Thank you so much for your interest in The Fox, a colonial mystery spy game. This game is an equal split male and female characters. There are two size options. There's a 10 player game and there is an 11 to 20 player game. The larger size option has four extra individual characters and then it has two teams. I know that it can be nerve wracking to purchase something online and you just don't know what you're gonna get from it. So that's what I'm here for. I am going to walk you through the items that you'll be able to download when you purchase the Fox Mystery Game. Everything that I go through in this video is going to be on paper, but most of it doesn't need to be printed. You can play the game completely digitally, meaning you just email the parts out to your characters. There are some pages that do need to be printed prior to the game. Some of them are optional and some of them are necessary. And I will go through those documents when we get to them in the video. So let's get to it. The hosting packet gives you a guide on how the game should be run. This includes how and when to assign players, a general outline of how a whodunit mystery game runs from prepping the game all the way to the end of the game. So this is a general outline, how a basic game runs. The Fox has some variations from the general format of a whodunit mystery game. Anytime there's a variation from the norm, there is a warning sign that tells you to go to the hosting tips and adjustment section. There is a description of each character's unique traits. So you can assign the character parts to the people you think could embody those characters' traits. And then we have the party day adjustments, so steps three, four, and five. The next documents are the same documents that are in each character packet as well. So we've got the cast of characters, the story, the rules of how to play whodunit mystery game, more note pages. Okay, and then here we have um, some extra stuff just for the host. These are some documents that need to be printed before the game that are going to be handed out when the hosting packet tells you. So the note to Sergeant Groon, the report to Sergeant Groon, C Sprite note, and the code sheet. Those should all be printed and ready to distribute to the players. There's also memory jogger number two, but this is in everybody's player packet. So that is the hosting packet. Another document that we have is called The Show Must Go On. Whoops. Uh -huh. um, this is read at the end of the game. It's just a little tidbit about what goes on in the characters' lives after the end of the game. So that is the hosting packet. The player packet contains a lot of the same documents that we talked about in the hosting packet, such as the rules, the cast of characters, the story, but what it also contains is a unique backstory for the individual character with reasons people may think that they are the criminal and clues as to why other people may be the criminal. At the end of the backstory, There are personality and acting tips, a link to a Pinterest page to get ideas for costume and props, and a question to get the game started. There is also um, the Colonial Caller, which is just news <laughs> about what's going on. And then there are notes. And then there's a stop. Do not read past this page before the game. Your hosting packet will tell you exactly when to direct them to move past the stop sign. So once you move past the stop sign, you get memory jogger number one. And then there's another stop. And once the hosting packet tells you to move past the second stop sign, you get memory jogger number two. And this memory jogger is the same 
for every person. And that is the end of the character packet. I hope this answered some of the questions you had about the Fox Mystery Game. If you have any other questions, feel free to email me. You can do that through our website, or you can also just email me at grace at whodunitmysteries.com. Thank you and have a great day.